Hey guys, welcome back to Daniel's Tech World here on YouTube. This is Daniel Rosal. If you've been subscribed to this YouTube channel for some time, you might've got the idea that I'm pretty big into the whole world of data backup and data archiving. And I generally try to make sure that whatever data I create on the internet that I might want to retain, retain is data that I can control. At the same time, I'm a big fan of the Google Workspace product. I use all of it like Google Drive, Gmail and Google Photos. In fact, I've kind of taken to using Google Photos as a really ridiculous organizing system, creating albums for screenshots and notes that I want to refer to later. I'm not saying that this is necessarily the best idea or the most appropriate use for this product, but however you create data is data that ideally you want to back up. When it comes to backing up Google Workspace, unfortunately, it's really, really not ideal. People are probably aware that Google have a product called Google Takeout. And Google Takeout is somewhat nice. It allows you to either bundle up all the data in your Google account, or you can select a specific service like just backing up your Google Photos. Some Google products have a more granular layer of backup that you can go into, for example, your YouTube backup and choose whether you want to back up different types of data within that Google product, like for example, your playlists or your Google videos or, or your YouTube videos or even the uh, videos that you've liked. The big issue with using Google Takeout as a backup approach is that it basically only does full backups. In the backup world, there are three types of backups. You have your full backups, which basically means taking a backup of the entire source system and backing it up in full onto the target and you have differential and incremental backups. The latter two are a lot more smart because basically you're backing up the data that you've created since you last ran a backup on that service. Let's say it's a server, for example. People who've used a command line tool called rsync to back up a server are very familiar with this product. You can run it via a cron job once a day and it will just pull in the new files from your server and back them up onto your backup server. The problem with Google Takeout being a full backup utility is that it's going to dump all the data in whatever Google product you're using in one go. This is really inefficient. Say, for example, you have 50 gigabytes worth of photos in your Google Photos. I have about 35. If you do a download a Google Takeout with the intention of using that as a backup now, and then you run that same backup program in three months, you're pro you might have, let's say, an extra five gigabytes of Google Photos created, but you've just downloaded unnecessarily another 55 gigabytes of data that you already had backed up a few months ago. People on Reddit, there's actually a Google's Google Photos subreddit, as well as, of course, the Data Hoarder subreddit, have thought of different clever tactics, but one that works if you want to be totally manually about it is to just do as follows. So here's an example of a Google Photos album I created that I don't really need anymore. I was looking to build out a home server rack, so I gathered a few cool photos of servers from the internet, and I call this Home Server Inspiration June 2020. Now, what I want to do is click on the top right where you have this arrow thing, and then click on Download All. This is going to download a zip file of just this Google album. So you can bundle a bunch of these onto your backup medium or if you're using stuff for archive and you'll be able to quickly see if you ever need to access these photos again, you can say, okay, great, Google. So you can see all the ones I've just done, right? These are all old uh, photo albums that I've just manually zipped. Um, okay, so now that I've got these backed up, I can basically delete the um, actual data in Google because I don't need it anymore and it's just taking up space and it's just basically sitting there for no reason in my Google Photos. So unfortunately, the way to do this is a little bit clunky. If you, if you just delete the album, Google Photos is going to retain the photos. So what you actually need to do is, well, this is the way I'm doing it. Firstly, I delete all the photos. I'm just doing a control shift, scroll down, select, scroll down, then hit shift, then right click and go for move to bin. And you're actually gonna also have to empty your bin out. So this is really kind of a, a bit of a clunky process, but if you only have a few albums with lots of photos, fine, this will work for you. Then you can do delete empty album and click delete. And this is basically the process. You can go into your Google Photos every year, let's say, you know, because this is kind of a real boring rainy day activity, but it is worth going and maybe once a year to do this process, bundle up the albums you don't need anymore that you're happy to put into archival storage. Or if you want to use this as a backup medium, just download everything. Um, and then you can put that onto, uh, you remember also the always the, go the golden rule of backups, three, two, one, you want to keep two 
backup copies in addition to the original data and one of those you want to have off-site which means geographically separated from where your original uh, your first data backup is so for example to back up your google photos one approach would be to keep those zip backups um, on some storage medium in your home for example on an nas um, I'm personally one of those weirdos that uses optical media. So I'm using the M-Disc a lot. So I put all these Google photos on an M-Disc once a year. That's my on-site backup. And don't forget, you also need to create an off-site copy. My approach with my optical media is replicating those M-Discs and putting them, keeping one copy in an off-site library. But you could also use the cloud if you want to do something more traditional and keep your off-site copy this way. This is my personal approach to doing Google Photo backup and archiving. It's very, very far from ideal, but I'm yet to see a backup tool uh, that actually does this ideally. Google Takeouts exists, but for the reasons I mentioned, it's not really that useful as a backup tool. It's just a kind of a once off data export that just bundles everything. And to the best of my knowledge, please correct me in the comments if I got this wrong. Even if you choose the schedule backup, schedule takeout option that Google will send you a takeout at an incremental time interval, it's still gonna send you a takeout each time of all the data in that Google product or in the entire a Google data footprint that's included in a Google takeout. Hope that was helpful. This is my approach. It's not the best approach. It's kind of dirty um, and inefficient. If you know of a better way, please let me know in the comments because I do believe that whatever data you create, wherever you create it in the cloud, you want to make sure you have copies of your own. And even though this is not a lot of fun, um, I do think it's an important activity. Thanks for watching today's video. If you want to get more videos from me about tech, including backup and archiving, then do consider subscribing to this YouTube.